Burl Morgan Mill was built in the 1780s, was operating by 1785, and has been operating continuously since then, except for a period of about 20 years in the 1940s and 50s. Uh, the Clark County Historical Association got the mill in the 60s, underwent a complete renovation, and we've been grinding again since. Today we're going to be grinding nine grain. Nine grain blend is just that, a blend of nine different grains. And I'd have to get out the list to tell you what they all are, but there's a little bit of everything in there. These stones don't run one flat on top of the other. There's actually just a small space in between. And that adjustment is what gives you the fineness of the grain. The process is, in this mill, just the way it was 225 years ago. Grain sits in the hopper, runs down into the shoe, and from there is fed into the eye of the stone. As it's ground, it comes out from between the stones and is chuted down into the basement where it is sifted and bagged. And pretty much all hand labor, just like it was in the 18th century. Flip the Mill is one of the oldest operating businesses in this part of the country. This mill was originally built in 1802, and that's before Ohio was even a state. It is very much a water-powered grist mill. Grist is an old word that means to grind. We are still an active mill, so we like to show it off to people who are interested in early Ohio industry. Uh, this is one of seven mills that were in our town in the early day. The Little Miami, which is behind me, that powers our mill, was a very good water source. So that's why there were so many mills in this area. We have approximately a little over 500 flower bags from various mills from all over the country, predominantly from the east of the Mississippi area. We like to show school children that once upon a time food did not magically come out of a grocery store. Your great grandparents had to come to a place like this. There were hundreds if not thousands of mills all across the country. Each one has very beautiful artwork, very catchy names, but quite honestly it's either flour or meal. They just try to make theirs sound or look better than the next guys, but it's literally all the same stuff. War Eagle Mill has been here since 1838. It's had several catastrophes. It washed away in a flood. It was burned in the Civil War. It burned in an accidental fire just after the turn of the century. But we're still operating. We grind whole grain organic products, but we do it the way they did it historically. We use French granite burr stones to actually grind the grain as opposed to crushing it, which is the way modern steel roller mills do. They crush it, they don't grind it. We still grind it. In the 1800s, there were thousands of grist mills. They were super important to the community. They were sometimes community centers. In this case, a community sprang up around this mill in the 1800s. And it's because they were so important, everyone had to go to the grist mill if they had quantities of grain that they wanted to get ground. Today, there's us in Arkansas. We're the only one that's operational. The Y Grist Mill is the earliest mill in Maryland, one of the earliest in the country, and is most likely one of the earliest it's still running. It still grinds grain uh, during the summertime, and it's still a water-powered grist mill, a grain grinding mill. Uh, it's powered by water from the Y River. Above the Y River, we have a large impoundment here of about 50 acres as the mill pond. Uh, that has been existed here since 1681. The mill was built a year after in 1682 and has been here working ever since. 